Ramban. In today's Burn 100 series, we're gonna use a bench to do two circuits and burn 100 calories in 10 minutes. Sounds too good to be true? I've got a workout I think you'll really love. get started. Okay, our first move is a reptile. Now all you have to do to do this is put your body in a nice plank with your shoulders above your hands and then pull your knees into your elbows, okay? Now I know it's not a lot of movement, but because you're pushing down into your hands and you've got your core engaged to keep your back flat and then you've got your legs moving, you're actually firing up pretty much every muscle in your body. Right? So it's important to keep your back flat. To do that, pull your navel into your spine so you don't sway in your lower back. And then we get a couple more in. Last two. All you have to do here to transition is flip over. We're gonna do some tricep dips. So get your butt nice and close to the bench or to the stair or to the curb and get it going, right? Now we all do this. So what I'm gonna tell you to do here is to bring one leg up. Okay, so first you get the movement, then you make the addition, right? And then you switch, right? So you're evening it out, opening up that hip and then lowering down. Now to intensify, you go faster. To make it easier, you go slower. You choose what feels right for you to start. Because remember, it's only your second movement, right? So we're gonna a couple more in. Now we're gonna switch to bringing the intensity to your legs. Step one foot up, you're gonna put your hands out in front and then twist into it, right? Keeping your balance, driving through your heel. Now, this is the beginner level, okay? We wanna intensify, we just go into that toe and we speed up the movement, right? Keep pushing into it. If that's too hard, step off to the side and give yourself the turn, okay? It can be that easy. Then of course we have to switch to the other leg, right? Here we go. Right back into it. This one will really get your heart rate up. Oh, I can't even say heart rate. We're having fun now. Or remember, intensify. Three, two, one. Okay, right back into a push-up. We're back here. Our hands are a little bit wider. We push up, and then we're gonna do a nice little rear delt fly. What I want you to think about here is squeezing your shoulder blades together when you come up, because that's alternating the motion from your chest to your back, and it helps even you out. It helps roll your shoulders back, gives you better posture, right? Let's get in two more, shall we? Last one. Okay, finally, the last one. Whew, it's a toughie, so here we go. You're gonna take one foot out, hands on the bench, support yourself, and then just step up. Drive right through that heel and step up. Now, if you've got a friend working out with you, you can raise, oh, but you really need to have somebody there to give you support. Otherwise, we're just digging through that heel. Now don't forget to switch your feet, right? You don't want to burn out one leg because we have one more circuit left to go. Now, when your legs get tired, pull up through your core and that'll help keep your momentum. All right, we've got three more. One, two, three, try for four. Always try for one more, okay. Back to the second circuit. Okay, so now that we know the moves, let's intensify. Let's pick up the pace, right? Squeezing. Now, if you're winded, it means you're doing it right, okay? If you're winded, push yourself a little bit harder, then slow down, then catch your breath, but show yourself that you can actually do it, right? Don't quit. Two more, and then we just flip over and we switch right there into our dips. Now your butt's gonna have a tendency to wanna walk out away. Keep it in, and then your elbows stay in, and you just pump through it. Remember, slow down to catch your breath. 
but try to do as many reps as you can before you slow down. Switch up those legs, keep it going, keep it going. Whew. I think about granny arms when I'm doing these. You know, I don't wanna have those like flabby granny arms flapping in the wind. All right, on to our next one. It is the lunge and the twist. The lunge and the twist. Now right here, I'm focusing on twisting to get that oblique in there. In this set, we intensify. Two, one. After this set, you might be a little winded. Don't stop. Take it to the ground. Keep moving, okay? That's the point. Just keep moving. Then when you've caught your breath, you go back into it. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now we roll right into our push-up and our rear delt fly, right? Keep your legs wide so you've got a nice stable base to dig it down low and pull back as deep and as strong as you can, right? Now you're on this incline, so the push-up is actually gonna be a little bit easier. You don't need your knees here, especially with a wide base. I mentioned granny arms. This one's for your bra flat, ladies. I think about it, everybody does. Last one. Okay, take your seat right to the tuffy. Standing up, right in that glute. Feel your hamstring. Do you know where your hamstring is? It runs right down the back of your leg and it's just as sexy as your quad when it's toned, right? Keep standing, keep going. All right, let's switch. Okay, so here's the thing. I know you wanna stop, but you're too close to stop. We have come way too far. Let's take three more. One, two, three. All done. What do you think? Stand up, lift your chest, don't bow down. You're done. Open your heart, let the air in, right? And release. Feel your heart pounding. That is the best reward out of this whole thing. You've got the physical, you've got the mental, you've got the emotional. It all comes in one little package. So tell everybody what you think. Tell them about your experience online by using the hashtag burn100. You can find me at Mary Rambin. We'll all be here for you at the Self Channel. Come back, work out with us again. Thanks so much. Have a great day.